Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. God give me peace about it. And for those of you joining by television right now, I want to share with you for just a moment what I've just told the congregation. We have the opportunity standing before us, right before us, we've been offered an opportunity to go into a hundred million more homes than what we're airing in now. Going into over a hundred and fifty million, or excuse me, a hundred and fifty more countries. Uh, over a hundred million homes in 150 different countries carrying the gospel every week out of this little corner of this little tobacco field, Moore County, North Carolina. And I, I've asked the congregation to pray that God show me what to do. But we're in the last days, and he said, you stand and you preach what I tell you. And, and repentance from sin is what he's commissioned me to do. So pray that God make a way. It's going to be expensive, not that expensive, because God's opened the doors already. And uh, just pray that we trust him and be obedient to him. If you want to be part of it, call the number on the screen, and we'll share with you how you too can help us carry the gospel into a hundred more countries, 150 countries, excuse me, 150 more countries around the world. But right now, put your hands together in here, make welcome the choir and Brother Corbin as they sing for God's glory. John beheld the bright city With its jasper walls gleaming Yes, he saw it descending what a wonderful sight And he told me of the splendor Of the beautiful rainbow That forever will shine In that city of light Oh, heaven now is in view the Savior, but I will ever keep walking in the light of His love, and you may lay up your treasures where the rust is decaying, but I would rather lay my in that city above. Praise is 
wonderful love. Heaven now is in view. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, preachers are preaching all over the planet Earth that Christ is coming. Preachers are preaching their hearts out. God still got his 7,000 out there preaching. All of them haven't sold out to the devil. Many of them have, but we still have a few that are preaching the blood of Jesus, the love of God, grace and mercy, that are still preaching repentance. I was talking to a couple of brothers yesterday, and I told them that these two scriptures kept coming to me, and so I'm going to read these two, and then I'm going to follow the Holy Spirit and let him guide and direct. Wherefore I say unto you, okay, Matthew chapter 12, 31, 32, Matthew 12, 31, 32 are the two scriptures that God kept telling me, and he said, to ask the world what they mean. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Church, what's blasphemy? And what is Christ talking about? He said you could talk about him and he'd forgive you. You can talk about men in the world and he'll forgive you. But he said, don't be blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Don't be giving the devil credit for something that the Holy Ghost is doing. I wonder, and, and I say this, I wonder what it's going to be like when we stand before the throne. I wonder what it's going to be like when the pastors and preachers and deacons and elders and congregational members and all of those that claim to be washed in the blood. I wonder what it's going to be like when they stand before King Jesus and he opens the books of judgment. Oh, I can paint you a pretty picture this morning. I, I could, I'd have to go against God's will to do it. But I can paint you a pretty picture of send in a thousand and God will give you ten thousand. Send in, go and do this and go and do that, and God will bless you, and he'll give you the riches of the world, and he'll do all of these things. But that's not the picture that God's called me to preach this morning. He's talking about the Holy Ghost. He's talking about the power of God. And we've got too many people that take it lightly. Well, we've got too many people that are teaching that the Holy Ghost is a thing of the past, or that, that's something up in heaven. Church, it's a serious thing. He said, I'm not going to forgive you on earth, and I'm not going to forgive you in heaven if you talk about the Holy Ghost, if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost, if you say that it's not real, if you question the purpose of the Holy Ghost. And, and this may be a little bit teaching more so than preaching, but let me tell you what the Word of God says, and I'm going to give you a chapter and verse for it. And I 